Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to the North Star Tarot. This is a collective timeless reading and what is coming for you in all matters of the heart, be that self-love, self-worth, romantic or plutonic love. Um, the song that came through was Pink and I can't not remember what it's called. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. We're not, we're just bent, we're not broken and we can learn to love again. Okay, so that's coming through. I don't know if somebody wants a second chance with you or with the person you're thinking of or if this is kind of like somebody's, um, it's like your higher self talking to yourself, it can be. Okay, but I've got a little bit of incense out just to cleanse us and then I'm going to be ringing my bell to cleanse the energy around us. If you are sensitive to um, the sound of bells, please cover your ears or turn down your volume. Okay, ready? Now I've got really cool, this one or this one? This one first. This one first. Okay. Let's see what wants to come out. We've got here Moon in Capricorn and it says, put aside emotional concerns and focus on achieving or, or increasing financial security. So someone here is really thinking about you. They may be, um, they may be worried about finances or they may just be ignoring their financial issues because they can't stop thinking about you or the person you're thinking of. Okay, this person could be a Capricorn or they could be watching you rise. There's something about your career, your recognition and wishing they were there with you. You also have Moon in Aquarius. The time is ripe for celebrating life. Make most of parties, gatherings and other social opportunities. So this person may feel like they've missed out on opportunity with you or they are seeing that you're, you're carefree. Or they're perceiving that you are carefree while they're stressing out about something. And you also have, um, and I've got that song just playing through my head and I don't know all of it. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we can learn to live again. Be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have, have laid may take an unexpected course and it's upside down. Everything is going according to plan is what I'm hearing. And this person's realising maybe they're not part of the plan. Maybe they want to be part of the plan. They want to be part of your life. And they can't be. Use your words. Yeah, this, this person and Gemini in reverse. This person isn't coming forward and speaking. Maybe you've blocked this person so they can't. Maybe you're moving on with your life. And this person is part of the, the old identity of who you used to be. Maybe they're on the, the, the last timeline that you were on. And you've now moved forward because you have Gemini. Stress may be an issue during this time. You've definitely let go of something and it may be a person. I heard for some people it's a job, but mainly I'm getting that somebody wishes they were still in your energy or they wish that you still thought about them. And they think about you a lot or they think about the kindness or how they maybe took you for granted or didn't tell you how much they appreciated you when you were with them. Be that a friend or be that, you know, a lover or a relationship, like a romantic relationship. You've got to embrace imperfect colour with crayons and it's upside down. So maybe they were very rigid or very controlling or didn't allow you to express yourself properly. Um, I don't know if you had the tendency to kind of pour yourself into other people in relationships and kind of lose your identity a bit. And I heard not anymore. Somebody's having... It's almost like a burst of life or you're learning who, what your identity is or who you are or you're questioning that now. And not in a horrible way, just kind of like, who am I? What do I need? How do I want to express myself? Do I want to wear, you know, my hair funky? Or do I want to um, dance to music every day? Or what is it that I need? Um, because someone hasn't either been given the opportunity to do so or when you knew this person, you may have felt smothered or like you had to dim your light in some way. I heard the kids got it all. So maybe if you share children with this person, um, identity can be stripped away when we are pouring so much into a family. And there has been some sort of separation here. And you've got music. Is, music has what you need. So if you've been looking for a confirmation or you've been looking for a message or you keep getting messages in music, you're being told to listen. Listen, listen, listen. This person may um, be actually having signs about you when it comes to with music yeah because you've got Taurus here now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters so someone here hasn't been this person may be um 
finding that they're not as abundant as they were when they were around you. They may be wanting to reach out to ask you for help. Hair in reverse. It is an auspicious time for new beginnings. So this, this person wants a second chance with you. You will get through this. It's upside down. They feel like they've lost out or they've missed out. I had the golden goose. Maybe you, you were seen as a golden goose. Or maybe you felt like you were treated like a golden goose. Like, I don't know if you were the breadwinner. Um, you could have been, you know, a stay-at-home mum. They could have been a stay-at-home mum or dad. Or, you know, one could have worked and the other one didn't. Or you may felt like you'd done everything around the house in respect of gender. Um, you've got eight of wands here. And you've got the knight of wands. So this is, um, energy is picking up. The Eight of Wands, when it is this way, it's about um, something moving very fast. This is a blockage of some sort or standstill. And then you have the Knight of Wands, but the Knight of Wands is charging forward. And then you also have the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is being fiercely independent, affluent, abundant, okay? But also being single. And then you have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is about stability. I don't know if there was somebody that took advantage of you or wanted to be have that carefree kind of um, life or may have treated them themselves like they were single in a marriage. It doesn't have to be, but this person is kind of kicking themselves now and wishing that they had treated you with more respect or, tr or told you how much they actually appreciated you because this is telling me that someone in the collective is on the up and up or they're actually okay with being by themselves while they, while they figure out their finances, while they figure out their path, while they figure out who they are. And this eight of wands being in reverse is actually really good because it means that you or the person you're thinking of actually gets time to pause and savor the moment be present with themselves with how they wish to forge forward okay this is forging forward for oneself for oneself and this four of wands here can either be about instability especially if i put this over here i don't know if somebody is homeless or somebody had to move or there's been like a breakdown of a family unit maybe and someone feels like they can't get through it without you because maybe you were the backbone of that family or maybe you were the, like i keep getting that someone here was doing a lot more work than they needed to and they may have been like um weaponized incompetence of some sort in a relationship where one person would just pretend that they didn't know how to do things or oh, it's too difficult so that the other person had to lump everything and this person is now having to adult by themselves and they're finding it really difficult but i'm not saying that like in a mocking way i'm not saying it in a pitiful way it just is how it is it's not your problem is what i'm hearing it's not your problem but i've still got that song playing in my head by um pink or, like somebody wants to come in and kind of like be just give me give me another chance give me a reason why we can't work this out and it's really your choice but i'm really i'm getting very much from many people no one's looking back it's almost like that door has already closed it's been locked and many other doors have already opened and you're already walking through about 15 of them and you know closing the other ones behind you and this person is like knocking on that first door still going can i come in you know i miss you i miss that you did everything for me or i miss that i could weaponize incompetence and i'm now realizing how good i had it five of cups to the chariot yeah this person wants to come back and heal something they don't want conflict. I feel like this person wants to come in and speak to you, but they want to do it in a way of without conflict, without you getting angry, without you getting upset. But I feel like this person assumes that you're still in a space of, of pain. And I heard for some, maybe you are, but you're, you've taken active steps to move forward. For someone, music may be really therapeutic for them. It may actually help them. And I heard, don't put off doing your taxes or don't put off getting financial aid if that's something that you need. Just go and speak to them. Go and speak to whoever it is that you need to speak to because they'll be there and they'll help you. Because somebody is being fiercely independent, I can do it by myself. You have to remember that being hyper-independent is usually born from trauma. It's usually born from when we had to do that when we were younger 
because we didn't have anyone taking care of us or helping us out so we had to become efficient and it's okay to be independent it really is it's, it's exhilarating to be able to know that you can do it by yourself but help is there for you and this seems to be like a double message not just for you but also for whoever this person is here someone is playing the victim and i don't feel like it's collective i feel like it's whoever you've moved away from is playing the victim a little bit they may have been used to people doing things for them and um, again i'm not judging this person it just is the way it is i heard that this person may need to have a bit of growing up to do the five of cups here to the chariot this person wants to come forward in some sort of um peaceful way they want to come forward in a peaceful way but they want some sort of healing maybe there's closure that is needed from you nine of cups is the wish fulfillment for them they they want you to take away their stress in some way but you have got the high priestess in reverse so this is somebody who is either gaslighty or a bit manipulative and again i'm getting that weaponized incompetence anything else yeah knight of swords is in reverse the page of cups is in reverse some of you are so over this that you're like i don't actually want to have this conversation because i've gained closure you're just being made aware that this person is trying to reach out they may be trying to email you or call you you may have blocked them you may have blocked them on whatsapp you may have blocked their number or deleted or changed your number wheel of fortune to the hanged man yeah this person um i heard i desperately need money knight of swords is in reverse this is like I, i'm not interested i'm literally not interested page of cups not interested and I, I heard someone is not interested in healing this rift because this person this person is like i don't know if you'll read you read this person very well this will and you've got to remember that my readings are collectively for those it's for confirmation so if this doesn't resonate it's not for you and that's absolutely fine but for those that it resonates with this person may i don't know why but they know that you are on the up and up or that your finances are about to have a really big oomph to it and i heard share share the load they want you to share something with them because they're on the wheel of fortune upside down they got so used to things being handed to them or being with you and there was some sort of benefit from being with you i don't know if this person was like purposely i'm going to be with collective because they give me things but i do feel that at some point for some of you it turned into that relationship where it was just kind of you over giving and them overtaking and there was no equilibrium there you had the hanged man in reverse okay so this is definitely someone coming forward who is feeling a little bit jealous i think also they haven't been able to let go of the way that or um move forward from the way that either it ended or the fact that you don't want them anymore or that you won't nurture them anymore king of swords to the three of cups yeah they want to come in and quite but you've got the king of cups in reverse okay so they are feeling a bit salty here as well because they don't have anything or they or they feel like they don't have anything to um after the amount of time that you were together they don't have anything and you do they're comparing them, themselves to you in some way this is giving me a little bit of like entitlement or spoilt spoilt child energy so yeah there, there's a bit of emotional immaturity coming from this person three of cups three of cups can be about celebration but it's also third party so this person could be talking to someone else about what you're doing or it's also can you can you watch this person because i can't i don't know if you've blocked this person on social media especially knight of swords in reverse there's no way for them to get towards you. Can you unblock me? So maybe they've got somebody that they're talking to. And you've got the King of Swords here. The King of Swords can be the police. It can be a legal matter. It can be maybe they there's something that um, they want to contact you about a legal matter. Maybe they're asking you for money towards a legal matter. And I heard it may have your name on it. But the magician, yeah, it may not. They just don't have the money to pay something off. And they're speaking to someone about this or there's a third party that's been speaking to the courts or to the police or something about this you have the king of cups in reverse to the king of wands so there has been some sort of something has been said that's manipulative and we've had manipulation come out more than once here 
but not only has it been said this is something um it's not very nice the king of cups is somebody who is a father they're very compassionate they are kind you know they're very deep deeply aligned with their emotions um it's upside down so this person is very very used to emotionally manipulating others to get what they want and they won't let go of something i heard steeped with the bill or left with the bill they feel like you owe them and the king of wands they have no way of going forward with this it's been left with them and they there's someone that they are talking to that may also have no money or have nothing i heard because of what they did ten of pentacles they may share a child whoever it is that they're talking to they may share a child they don't have to but the ten of pentacles they're seeing you as being very happy six of wands in reverse this could be um an ex-husband an ex-wife this is this could be a failed marriage they may have gone back to their ex-wife or ex-husband and this failed and now they want to come back and invest especially with that ace of pentacles so they want to come back and invest in you they're seeing something as being unfair or they're seeing the fact that you won't um you won't fold i heard unfair it's not fair it's not fair that's what i'm hearing it's just it's not fair maybe in the past you folded maybe you took this person back quite a few times or maybe you ignored red flags and that's not me judging in any way shape or form because we are spiritual beings having a human experience and sometimes we make mistakes we all do um maybe you ignored those red flags because they were very good at emotionally manipulating or kind of like um gaslighting or ex making excuses and they don't understand why you won't now and you've got te telepathy in reverse so they've been blocked off completely they've literally been blocked out of your energy they can't feel you anymore maybe you had a very strong psychic connection before but that's been removed that cord is gone 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 telepathy transmission perception and communication exactly completely blocked off completely blocked off your energy was very healing to them or very soothing for them and they really liked that but with the high priestess in reverse i don't even know if this person realized that they were a bit of an energy vampire they may not have known some people are aware of this some people aren't but I'm, I'm getting for a majority they didn't know that they were an energy vampire for a small majority they did but they were draining your energy it helped to soothe them sacred action decisive focus so they were taking that from you until someone put up a boundary or left or a circumstance made them leave. Guided by love, I heard. So you may have big cat energy around you that actually protects you or guides you or guided you away from this person. Because so you've got grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. Yeah, this person is depressed. They're feeling very depressed that they... I heard they gave up so easily. Maybe they gave up very easily in this relationship. Maybe they were depressed. Or maybe they were just used to other people doing things for them. And you stopped doing that. Tenderness, true love and compassion. That's what they wanted. But it means putting effort in and they didn't want to put effort in. The power to give and receive healing. Exactly. They want you to heal them. They want your compassion because you're coming out as like the Queen of Cups and they're the King of Cups in reverse. River of Blessings, release constraints and summoning power, instinct, intellect and control. Four. They've been talking to their family as well and the Ten of Cups did come up. Maybe they they want to know whether or not you're dating someone or whether you are in a happy home. Whether you're in a home for some reason. Are you in a home? Do you have your own home? This river of blessings release constraints. And again, you've got big cat energy, another cheetah behind you. Some sort of blessing is being protected or some sort of blessing was being delayed until this person was no longer in, not just in your life, but no longer in your mind and heart rent free and was no, no longer energetically in your energy. And now that this has happened, the ball is rolling, but they can't check. They can't check to see what's happening. They have a feeling that something's coming in for you. 
and they're really comparing themselves to you and they're, they're kicking themselves that they didn't put more effort in is what I'm hearing because now they've got nothing. Gambling for someone, this person may gamble a lot. The summoning of power, intellect, instinct, intellect and control. I don't know, Scorpio, if you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart or they do or the person they're talking to does. Earth magic, fearless, removing obstacles, true love and compassion. An obstacle was removed because you went inwards or you're being asked to go inwards because it's the last obstacle that's being removed. True love and compassion is coming out. Golden aura. I want to look at this one here. Let me see this one here. Absolution, forgiveness and penance. Yeah, this person wants to come forward with some sort of apology. I feel like this person has a lot of growing up to do. And hopefully, you know, the separation or the moving away from this person and setting healthy boundaries or cutting this person out of your life will actually be like the, um, the catalyst for them to actually start growing as a person and taking accountability for themselves. But again, it's not your responsibility to f find that out if they do. And it says mortal, infinite and fragile upside down. This is also confirmation that this person just assumed that you would forgive them and that you take them back. And that it was only a matter of time before you take them back and that they just had to show up for a short amount of time before going back to how they were and you take them back and you did it. Sovereignty, independence and free spirit, free will. You moved on, you moved up and you moved away. Well done. Because sometimes love isn't enough empathy isn't enough and just seeing the potential in someone is so dangerous because when you see the potential you're not seeing the person for the here and now you're seeing the person they could, could become and they can only become that person if they see that potential in themselves and they take actionable steps to become that person otherwise it's being in love or caring for for the not even the ghost of a person because they haven't even become that person yet because you've got here yeah look high honor high standards and idealistic all right and then you have the consuming family and uh, pressure of peers you are this person you are this high standards and idealistic and, and honorable person but you have here the consuming family and um, pressure of peers i don't know if you were suffocated or you felt like there were specific ways that you were supposed to um, receive love or be valued by um, your family. Because the thing is, when we look at um, our attachment styles, when we look at our love language, when we look at how we interact in any type of relationship, it stemmed from how we were treated when we were young. And also the relationships that we see between our parents or between our caregivers. And that explains to us without words, just through um, watching and listening and absorbing when we're very young, how love is perceived, how love is supposed to be. And it's not until we're older that we then see where that dysfunction may be, because we all have dysfunction, no matter how wonderful our, rela you know, our relationship with our parents are, there's always going to be that nuanced um, dysfunction, which is fine. Um, but it's knowing about it. Yeah, because look, you've got here, creator, catalyst, Makeup, mother and father upside down. Someone's moved away from that because they're learning what that was for them, what their dysfunction was and how to heal that. And moving away from this person has been part of that catalyst to start healing that. And this is this person's very surprised that you haven't gone back to them. Anticipation, bright prospects and wish is upside down. they're now realizing there's no hope of you coming back and i heard and so it should be i don't know whose ancestor that is look upstart to mult and revolution craving compulsion and obsession this person may be thinking about you a lot and you've got here studying learning and education with knowledge they i feel like they don't they're realizing they never knew you they never knew who you were just what it was that you did for them and i heard maybe they're ashamed of this I want to wrap this reading up. Let's find out what else wants to come out. Okay, let's have a look over here at these ones. Let's see. Okay. I want to marry you, my love. And it's upside down. So maybe they, I don't know if for some of you, maybe you were engaged to this person. 
or maybe when you were married to this person you felt like this person was very distant or they didn't put effort in and it's because they had commitment issues and they're now realizing that they should have put effort in my soul is bound to your soul and it's upside down so there's some sort of soul contract that has been null and void and if they feel this, they don't have to be spiritual. They don't have to be religious. There's something energetically that they feel. They feel that they're no longer in your energy. I don't mean to ignore you. I will propose to you. Wow. So this person still has very strong feelings for you. Or they're falling in love with the idea or the memories they had of you. Okay. They may listen to music that you both liked. I have a gift for you. And everything is possible this person i feel like this person knows that you've moved on but they're still giving themselves hope that you will change your mind and, but i feel like at, at the core of themselves they know that it's not true but they don't want to give up they don't want to give up there is no obstacle i wouldn't face for our love yeah dear oh dear don't be so hard on yourself see at the same time in reverse, they want to see you stumble and fall because they feel like you've hurt them, even though you've just put yourself first. Distance, I can't, distance can't stop us. Obviously, it can. Wow, we well, that wasn't what I was expecting. This one or this one? This one. Okay, before I go, let's get more. Anything else we need to know about this situation? Envy is in reverse. There's something about their family or the people that they listen to that got in between for some of you. Daughter, personal healing and happiness. For others, it could have been that um, someone went to marriage counselling and it was supposed to help heal. But what happened is you ended up leaving. There may have been, there is no obstacle I wouldn't face for our love. Maybe this person is going to therapy now with the idea that... Um, if they do this, they'll get you back. Shame has come out and revenge is in reverse and radical rebirth. Maybe at some point they've done something petty, especially with that court papers, and they feel shame over it. They literally feel shame over it. Because you've got here as well rebirth and nothing is yet set in stone. So they may have tried to stop some sort of rebirth for you. There's, there's someone they've been talking to Either someone they have a child with or somebody in their own family with divine lineage and nothing yet is, is yet set in stone and the answers you need are coming. So there has been some sort of deceit that's happened with this person, maybe when you were in the relationship, that you're going to learn, okay? But it's ultimately for your own healing. Um, and it says dedication to achieve, focusing on, resulting from the results, the rules imposed by with Capricorn. And I won't cry for you. So they did something that maybe could have affected your career. I heard, but it won't. It won't. Cherish, enjoy. Charm, art and beauty are the way to. This person is very enamoured, I heard, by your strength, but jealous by it as well. I'm going to leave it here. I don't want to continue going around in circles, but I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated and you'd like to see more and when I post, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see just that. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, Soul Family. Hearts, kisses. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.